The Rockets are looking to go from field goal story to actual playoff contender. And in today's Rockets Field episode, we'll talk about what it will take to improve to get to the playoffs and also what teams will they need to leapfrog in this upcoming season to go from a 41-41 nice story to an actual playoff contender for the first time in four seasons. So make sure you stick around for this episode of Rocket Fuel Podcast. To Smith, Jabari for three and the win. Yeah! He got it! We are here to fuel Rockets news. This is Rockets Fuel Podcast presented by the Believe Network and sponsored by Bet Online. Of course, I am your host, LaShar Binkley. And if you haven't heard, it's been a while since we've had a podcast. So this is actually the first podcast I'm doing as part of the Sports Illustrated family. I moved on from SB Nation and Dream Shake. I'd like to thank them for all they've done for me. But I am now part of Sports Illustrated. And if you want to find my written work, you can head over to Rockets on SI. All my written work is there. I'm pretty much writing an article a day now. So definitely make sure you check that out. And of course, you can always find me on Twitter at Binkley Hoops. And in today's episode, we will be talking about how many wins will it take for the Rockets to take that next step. We all know the Rockets were a feel good story last season, going from one of the worst teams in the league, improving 19 wins to 41 and 41, and also pushing the Golden State Warriors in that last month of the season to a point where they were a half game with uh, within that 10th spot and the Golden State Warriors. And we all kind of know what happened after they had that 11 game winning streak and got within a half game. They lost five in a row and kind of faded down the stretch, including a loss to the Golden State Warriors. Um, so th- we're look- we're going to look at today what it would take to go from 41 wins. How many wins will it take for the Rockets to uh, get into that play in spot or possibly even the play offs in the top so- top six seed? Um, we'll look at that. We'll also look at what teams they're going to have to jump because, of course, if the Rockets get in the playoffs, they're going to have to leapfrog some team to actually get into the playoffs. They're going to knock them out or their team's going to have to fall off and the Rockets take their place. So we'll look at that as well. So, of course, let's start with how many wins will it take for the Rockets to get to the uh, play-in spot or possible playoff spot next season. The previous three seasons, when you're looking at the standings and teams that actually made the play-in game, uh, we can go all the way back three seasons when San Antonio made it with 34 wins, which is kind of amazing thinking about, you know, where teams are right now. But the San Antonio Spurs were able to make it in at 34 wins three seasons ago. And then if you look at that following season, 40 wins got that team into the playoffs the following season. And then, of course, last season we saw Golden State and Sacramento both had 46 wins and they finished 10th and 9th respectively last season and just to get into the play-in game so it seems like every single year is starting to go up and up and up um at the bare minimum what you'll need to actually get into the play-in the Rockets of course had 41 wins last season and if you look at it this way that 41 wins would have got them in three seasons ago two seasons ago but it did not get them in last season um and if you look at this upcoming season Um, you have to start to think, okay, how many wins will it take for the Rockets? How many wins will they have to improve to get in? This is even getting consideration for a play in a playoff spot. And if you're going by the trend that is currently going at right now, Rockets are going to have to improve at least four or five wins next season just to be able to be competitive that last few weeks to get into that play-in spot. Now, of course, teams may fall off um, and the Rockets may not need as many wins in this upcoming season. Something we're, I'm going to talk about here in a little bit, what teams could possibly fall back so that the Rockets can move forward into the playoffs next season. But if you're looking at the way the trends are going, of course, we know the Eastern Conference is still the weaker conference. So over in the Eastern Conference, you could probably get in with about well, 40 or 41 wins the Rockets had last season. But if you're talking about this upcoming season, the Rockets at the bare minimum will have to have 45 wins, more than likely in that 45 to 47 win range to be able to be even competitive in the Western Conference um, because you have teams like Golden State, the Lakers, Sacramento. These are all really good teams that are at the back end of the play-in. They weren't even in the the top uh, three or four last season. And especially the Lakers and Golden State, they both have a lot more playoff experience, of course, championship experience than the Houston Rockets. So you're talking about a even next season, an uphill battle. So you definitely want to be in that 46, 47 win plateau because if I if you look at it, 41 wins, I, I just have a hard time believing that's going to be enough, even if teams fall off next season. 
Um, then you also have to factor in the teams that are behind you. You have to factor in. I don't think San Antonio is there yet, but I mean, we saw in the uh, Olympics, Victor Wimbayama. It's not going to take him much longer to where he's just already just dominating the league. So you got to factor that in. San Antonio's a team that was behind you last year. You also have to factor in Memphis, who had a lot of injuries. John ja Morant was out the first part of the year due to suspension. When he came back, he only played a few games before he got injured and was out the entire year. So Memphis is another team behind you that you're going to have to worry about going into this upcoming season. I don't think you have to worry about teams like Portland. I think they still have a long way to go. So I don't think you really have to uh, necessarily worry about them. But Memphis, that's one team that you're really going to have to worry about. It's a team that you finished higher than last season, but that can possibly be right there with you or even higher going into next season because we know how good Memphis was before they had the injuries and the suspension um, to Ja Morant. So that's a team that you're definitely going to have to worry about in this upcoming season. So that's why I was saying 45 to 47 wins, that's going to probably be the bare minimum for you to get into the play play in spot uh, next season. The playoffs, that's that's going to be a lot harder. And that may not even be realistic next season because to get into the playoffs while I haven't been in the play-in game, you have to be in the top six seed. And that's a pretty huge jump. And that's a lot of teams you're going to have to jump just to get into that playoff spot. So we're more realistically talking about play in next year for the Rockets. I mean, if they somehow able to get up to 50 plus wins, then yes, playoffs um, in the top six seed is definitely something that they can possibly get into. But more than likely, we're talking about play in next season. So let's talk a little bit about the team that they're going to have to jump to get into that uh, play in spot. Like I said, you're going to have to worry about teams behind you like the Memphis Grizzlies. But for now, we're going to focus on the teams that actually made the play in uh, last season. Like I mentioned, you had Golden State number 10, you had uh, you had Sacramento at number nine, then you had the Lakers right in front of them. So those are the three teams we can look at, but there's one other team we can look at that actually made the top six that may fall off next season that had a pretty good record, and that's the Phoenix Suns. Um, with Phoenix, we all know there's a lot of rumors about will they trade Kevin Durant? They, they would love to trade Bradley Bill, but nobody's taking on that contract. Devin Booker, I think they're still a year or two away from worrying about trading away Devin Booker. But there were a lot of rumors about who they could trade um, this upcoming season. They really didn't improve their team last season. Um, if they start off slow, there's a good chance that they blow up this team and try to start over. So that's a team that you really need to watch at the beginning of the season. Because, of course, the Rockets were linked with uh, Kevin Durant as far as possible trade partner. There's other teams that have been linked with the Phoenix Suns as far as trading Kevin Durant. So that's a team that if they start off six, seven games under 500, they can easily say, hey, we're going to blow up this team. And then they won't even be in the playoff picture the next season. So that's a team that you can definitely watch as they can go to really good to complete out of playoffs in the span of the first month or two. So that's the team the Rockets could possibly leapfrog. And then, like I mentioned before, you have teams like the Lakers and Golden State. Lakers didn't make any improvements this upcoming season. Of course, they still have LeBron, they still have Anthony Davis. They still have all that playoff experience. But Anthony Davis actually played a lot more last season than he has in the previous few seasons. So, but he still is injury prone. If something happens to Anthony Davis, I mean, even LeBron, you know, as superhuman as he's been over the last several seasons, he's dealt with injuries himself. He's also 40 years old. I mean, I know it's LeBron, but time catches up to everyone. So eventually he's not going to be able to play 60, 70, definitely not 80 games in a regular season. And then they didn't improve their team. Um, they, they now have a brand new coach who's never coached in the NBA before. That can easily become a Steve Nash situation that we saw in Brooklyn. And it's a possibility that the Lakers – can miss the playoffs altogether. They have done that in recent times, so it's not out of the out of the question that they can miss the playoffs and the Rockets could leapfrog them in this next coming season. Because keep in mind, the Rockets are only several games behind like teams like the Lakers, and they finished only a few games behind the Golden States of the world and Sacramento's, and that's after they kind of tainted and went, not tanked on purpose, but they kind of fell off and lost five games in a row after winning that 11 games in a row in March. So, 
they could easily pass a team like the Lakers. They could easily pass a team like Golden State. And the reason why I say Golden State, yes, they still have Steph Curry. They lost Klay Thompson, even though I know Klay Thompson is not the Klay Thompson that he was before, but he was still a big part of that team. Draymond Green is not getting better. Yes, they do have Jonathan Kaminga who can all, who can possibly kind of raise his game to the next level. Um, but they really didn't improve from last season. They're actually a worse team than they were last season. And again, same thing with Steph Curry. He's getting older. He's had injury problems in the past. Um, you never know what can happen. Now, of course, the same thing can happen with the Rockets. The Rockets dealt with injuries last season. But the Rockets are a much younger team. Um, so Golden State is another team the Rockets could possibly leapfrog or make the play in next year. Sacramento did add DeMar DeRozan. So I don't know how much they're going to really fall off next season, but really don't know how that chemistry is going to work with that entire team. Um, but they did fall off from where they were the previous season, where they were a much better team in 2022-2023 season. So that's another team to watch going into the season. So that's already four teams that I mentioned right there that the Rockets can possibly leapfrog next season. Like I said, you do have to worry about the Memphis Grizzlies who can possibly be right back up there at the top of the league. So that's somebody that you definitely don't have to worry about. Um, but that's four teams that I said that it's a real possibility that the Rockets could leapfrog into the playoffs next season. Um, so you definitely want to watch those four teams. Of course, it could be another team that has a major injury um, that made the playoffs next season. But I have a hard time believing teams like Minnesota mm -hmm. or even the Denver Nuggets um, are going to fall that far back to the Rock where the Rockets going to be able to leapfrog them. I mean, those are two of the better teams in the league that and it's going and same thing with Oklahoma City. I mean, Oklahoma City is just as young as the Rockets and they were already a top team last season. So I have a find, find it hard to believe that the Oklahoma City Thunder are going to get much worse next season and the Rockets are going to leapfrog. And like I say, anything can happen. But if you think it realistically, I don't see where they'll be able to jump teams like that. So the teams to keep in mind are the Phoenix Suns, Golden State Warriors, Los Angeles Lakers, and possibly the Sacramento Kings. But I think it's more likely that the three other teams that I mentioned are teams that the Rockets can leapfrog this upcoming season. Um, so if I'm if I'm looking at it right now, of course, it's always kind of hard with NBA. There's so many games to kind of just look at the schedule and say, hey, uh, the Rockets are going to be this record and this record. But if I'm looking at it and looking at their first 10 games that aren't exactly crazy, it's a good mixture of home and road games. Um, if the Rockets can get off to that fast start, last season, season they started six and four. If they can get off to six and four, 73 this season, that will be a great start for the Rockets this upcoming season. Um, if I'm looking at it, of course, I will have another show. I'll, I'll bring Vader in. We'll have another show before the season starts um, where we'll actually give our win loss, uh, final win loss prediction. But if I'm looking at it right now, I think the Rockets can win anywhere between 46 to 50 games next season. Um, I'm not going to nail it down right now because we'll have another show, like I said. But I think it's very realistic that the Rockets can get to that 46 to 50 win range. And then if you do that, you're right in that play-in um, talk all the way throughout the season. Um, so I think that's something the Rocks will absolutely have to shoot for because, like I said, I don't think 41 wins, even if teams fall off, is going to be enough for next season just because you do have teams like Memphis that's going to still be able to become better than they were the season before. So, like I said, for the Rockets to make the playoffs next year, um, I think they need to get to that at least 45 wins. But I see the Rockets getting the 46 to 50 wins next season and fighting for a play. And I think ultimately they do get in the play in next season. Now, where are they between that 7 to 10 range? That's kind of hard to say right now. But at the very least, if you want to keep progressing every year, like the Rockets want to keep progressing, you went from a horrible team at 22 wins, um, uh, the season before and now you went to 41 wins your respectable team your team that people are starting to pay attention to now to take that next step you want to at least get to that playing spot and i think the rockets can do that this upcoming season um before i go i definitely want to let everybody know i, I we continue to appreciate the support that you give us throughout the off season yes we haven't had as many shows because it is the off season not a lot going on but it's going to start to pick up here soon uh, we're going to get news hopefully next month of the Rockets' new practice facility, um, overall training facility, not just a practice facility. We're going to uh, have news of that. I'll definitely be out covering that. I'll bring you a video of that. And then, of course, we go in October where we'll have media day 
uh, on September, the last day of September, and now leading to training camp. I don't know exactly where training camp is going to be. doesn't matter. I will definitely be there bringing you all the latest coverage of the training camp coming up in October. So again, we appreciate support. Let us know down in the comments, how many wins do you think it will take for the Rockets to make the play in next season? And do you think the Rockets can make the play in? Let me know down in the comments. Like I said, I appreciate support. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It helps us with the algorithm. And again, we appreciate Bet Online for sponsoring today's video. So make sure you check out the next episode of Rocket Fuel Podcast.